Hey young guys, uh, back with another video for the blokes and uh, we've had a bit of a uh, request to do a middle since we've done the pork leg. People wanted to see how we turn our bacon middles, uh, sorry our pork middles into bacon. So same sort of process after it's boned out, it'll go through a big machine with uh, our homemade cure here. But uh, while I'm at it, I thought I'll give you a bit of a demonstration on how to use a skill. I know a lot of people got these at home. Something a little similar to that, and uh, I know I know a few people that uh, have them in the past, and they actually worth having to sharpen a knife with. And I think they are they are worth having as long as you got sharp knives. But you're not going to get a uh, chipped rough edge knife to turn into a razor just by rubbing it over one. But if your knife is already sharp and you're trying to maintain that sharp edge. These are the way to go. So uh, you don't need to go ballistic on them. You don't need to go really quick. The main thing is, as long as it's flat, and you're holding it flat, you're holding it straight. Keep your thumb below the safety bar there. Otherwise, you don't want to be coming down, slicing your fingers. But you start at the corner of the heel of your knife, and you run it down. You don't want to be on the edge there. That's not going to do anything. It's just coming down on that surface. Yeah, all right. Even both sides, and an important thing to keep in mind is that you're using the same angle as you would if you were sharpening it on a stone, just to maintain the same edge. But that's that's about it. There's not much to it. Now we're going to get into this middle here, completely debone it for a bit of bacon. Now uh, this is where your kidney sits. You call that kidney fat. It's in the inner rib, and uh, it's important to remove that. You don't need that in your in your cook. A lot of that stuff will just peel straight out too. And you get a nice fine layer down the front there also. Now, uh, there's a bone here that we take out. Now if your knives are sharp enough, you can sort of slice straight through that bit and not taking too much of your product with it. Underneath this bit of flame here, there is a few of these feather bones, as you can see. Down here they are pretty hard to see, but they're these little white cartilagey looking bones down there. Now they're pretty soft, so they are easy to accidentally miss, but we like to get up under them and get them out before we cook it. Makes it a lot easier. So there you go, you've picked up all your feather bones, you've got nothing left down there. Come along the back here, as you can see. Like that. Now, uh, mark down the back of that. This makes it a lot easier for later on. You've got, you've got pretty much the, the bulk of it done now. Now the rest is literally just following where the bone already goes, you just can see anyway. But usually there's an eye fillet sitting in here, but we've taken these out prior, taking the actual middle off the, the haunch of the pig itself. So we, uh, we've already had them removed. And if you have one with an eye fillet in there, you choose to leave it in or you can take it out. It's not a, not a big issue, but we keep them from other purposes here. Main thing when you're running down this rib cage here is you need to keep your knife angling down towards the curve in the bone there. If you bring it back on too much of an angle, you're just going to slice open the belly. So you want to try and keep it on that little bit of a inner ledge there. Follow the whole way down. As you can see, you're getting now down into your loin. So that's where you don't want to mark too far to one side you're going to lose too much of your quality meat. Now there's a little edge here on this side. The rib bone's been separated but you will have like a little shelf there too. It's probably a bit hard to see in the camera but once I open it up you'll see what I'm talking about. You see that separate edge? That's all 
More ribbon there. Yeah. Now on your last step here, there's a, it's a bit of a funny in and out sort of method you can use to get all the meat off your rib cage there. But it sort of starts with a little bit of a bone that likes to step out. So you've sort of got to go around, as you can see. That is your, your string. So uh, removing that backbone on your saw, you're then left with your USA ribs that are perfect in the slow cooker. Uh, you can, you can utilise them in, in a few ways, but yeah, you usually take the backbone off them and you can sell that as well. So you're not really wasting anything. Now that's about it. We pump and we like to take off your uh, bottom half of your, your pork here and square it up a little bit where the little nipples actually come off there. But that all goes into our trim. That's your finished product there. So that's how you get your bacon off your, uh, your pork meat, off your, your flinches, you'd say.